I might want to take out the Volta out of here, the giraffe catfish, because it's too small and it's, I don't like the way it looks. And put him back into the 1800 gallon. Maybe I'll just use this occasion to, to catch that guy. See how oblivious the sturgeon are? They run into you, they bump into you, they don't care where you are. They ram you with their nose. Okay, let's let's evaluate the the female Volta, and then if we have to, we'll take her out. Water probably gets spilled all the time. It's okay, no problem. You're good. You're good. Open it up. Yep. Don't don't get poked. She's got nasty spines. Oh, you, you can remove the remove the, the, the oh, clip, yeah. yeah, and let her out. If she wants to go that way, whichever way she wants to go. Looks like she might be coming down. Yeah, coming down is fine. There we go. Okay. That went pretty smooth. So we got our female out of the 2,500 gallon, 25,000 gallon, when she spent about uh, three three years or so. She's kind of bony, and her tail is worn out and her barbells are clipped, torn off. Sorry, I ran out of battery power and the camera shut down. Anyhow, this is the Volta female. Now that I'm taking a very good look at her, her, light, her eyes look a little bit bulging. I don't like that. And also, she, when she swims around, you can see that she's got a a little bit of a crescent shape which is why I guess her tail is the way that it is because she's, she rubs on the with that portion on the bottom as she's swimming around I don't know why her body is no longer straight but kind of crescent But I did notice it in that uh, in the big tank too. As the male next to her, they used to be together a few years ago. And he's trying to dominate her now. She's not answering. By the way, this is about half a day later after they're homing. Yeah, she rubbed almost like a third of a tail, or half of the tail, the lower lobe. For comparison, you can see the eyes on the male, they look normal, just slightly protruding. I think, I hope and think this is normal and hers are quite a bit farther protruding out of the skull which probably means there is a liquid pressure inside that bulges the eye, eyes out which is not a good sign but some fish live with this condition for decades so I don't know what to make of it the reasons can be many I guess from more or less benign to too pretty sinister Anyhow, I don't remember how she developed this crescent f shape in the 25,000 gallons. I guess it took little by little. And she was much plumber in there too. Now she's kind of bony and skinny. Maybe she was bullied there because I, I see, you know, her two main ma maxillary whiskers are pretty much missing. Worn out or, or beaten down, uh, down to, to knobs. I hope she will grow them back here. But a lot of pointers about this fish are telling me that it was a good decision to take her out of there and she wasn't doing very well there.
in 25,000 gallons even though she's like 20 inches or so still she was the smallest of the giraffe catfish in the 25,000 gallon I normally didn't see any or I can't recall maybe a few times yeah I, I saw some bite marks on her on her but it wasn't anything regular just once in a blue moon she would she would bear those marks had a few problems with parasites but those are external we cl clean them up Anyhow, welcome to your former home and we'll continue observing and making conclusions and adjusting as necessary. You can see her crescent form from a side better. See? She's not straight. And that's why the tail is worn out. And a little bit of the anal fin too. The edge of it. 